Hey everybody, today we're going to show you where to find all 15 treasures here in the Boulder Forest region on the planet Toshara here in Star Wars Outlaws, so let's jump into it. So our first treasure is going to be found at Runner's Gate, which is on the western side of the Boulder Forest. As we zoom in here, you guys can see the exact location here on your screen. Not too difficult to find. We're going to be starting from the right side where you can see my arrow. But once you make your way over here, this is what it's going to look like going to ride down into this pit area where all the rubble is we're going to hop off our speeder and you're going to see a door over here but to open it what we need to do is stop short and if you look right over here on the right there's going to be a little power node that we can hit with an electric shot and once we do that it's going to open up the door and we can then go inside and in the back of the little room will be a container that we can open up to get treasure number one our next couple treasures are going to be found at the Fallen Mound, and we'll show you that location here as we zoom in on the map. To get inside of the Fallen Mound, you want to make your way right here to where this marker is and our arrow along the main path, and we're going to go north into this mountain. You see this is what it's going to look like, and just off the path you're going to find a tunnel that leads into the mountain, and we're going to go inside and follow that path all the way around to the back. Now once you make it to the back, we're going to have to hop off our speeder and go on foot. There's going to be a grapple right here that we can use to make our way up top. This is going to be a little bit of a lengthy venture. Now, once we're up top, we're just going to follow the main path that's here in front of us. You're going to come across a slide where we can slide down and then just continue to follow that pathway. We're going to go right back over here. We're going to eventually come across a grapple and we're going to swing our way across to the next section. Once we make it to the other side, we're going to go forward and you're going to want to watch out for the wind. So you're going to see there's wind blowing there. We're going to run past it while it stops and just continue straight. We're going to have another section of wind. We'll have to wait for it to stop. And then once it does, we can run across. Just continue to follow this path. And then there's going to be a rock wall that we can climb in the back left corner over here. We're going to make our way up top. We'll climb up a little bit again and there's going to be some more wind that you'll want to watch out for if you end up getting hit by this wind it's going to knock you off so take your time allow the wind to stop and then you can go we're then going to grapple once more but again we're going to have wind so wait until the wind stops then hit the grapple or else you'll have to restart we'll make it up here there's going to be another little grapple that we can grab to go down we'll go all the way down to the bottom here and then we're going to follow the pathway around the corner and just continue to follow this pathway. Now, as we make it down here to the bottom, you're going to see some wind that we're going to have to stop. So what we're going to do is come over here to the right side and we're going to shoot an electric shock that's at the node where the wind is coming from. And you'll see that once we do that, we switch over to electric, it's going to stop the wind. And you're going to have to be quick. You guys will see that if you're not quick enough, the wind will start back up again. So you just want to hit that node once more, it'll stop and then it'll allow you to get to the back here. Now once you make it to the back uh, of this area, you'll see on the right side there's going to be a little crack in the wall that you can sneak through to get to the other side. Once we're over here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to shoot this node on the right with an electric shot to stop the wind and allow us to get through back here to the control panel. Now at this point, we're going to use Nyx to hold down one of the levers while we hold down the other. So we'll get him to grab one. We'll pull the other and that's going to open the door straight in front of us to where the treasure is. The only thing we have to do is stop the wind once more by shooting the node. And then we'll be able to make it to the back room after this lengthy venture. We'll be able to open up this container here in the room. And this will be treasure number two. Our next treasure is also found here in the Fallen Mound area. And we're actually going to start from our last treasure that we just gathered in the middle of this mountain. And this one's actually really close by. So from the last container that we just opened up, if you look to your left, there's going to be a door and it's going to automatically open and lead you back to an elevator. All you need to do is get inside of that elevator. Once you're both in, the door will close. It's going to take you up. And then when it opens back up, you'll be in this really small room with a container right here on your left. And that is going to give you your second treasure here in the Fallen Mound area. Our next treasure is going to be found on the northwestern side of the boulder forest you guys can see it here the west turbo laser this outpost here on our map as we zoom all the way in you can see the exact location just north of the fallen mound but it'll be pretty easy to spot once you get out here as you can see it's just a single building there will be a couple enemies out here that you will need to take out i've already done so but it shouldn't be too much of a challenge as there's only a few 
But once you defeat them, all we're gonna do is go inside the main door here. And you're gonna climb down the ladder. It's gonna take you into this room, and right here in the room is another container that we can open up. And this is where we're gonna be able to find treasure number four. Our next treasure is Smuggler Cache 37 that's going to be found on the far western side of the Boulder Forest. You can see that location right on the edge of the map where we placed our marker. And we're going to be starting from just north of that location so you can see what it looks like. But essentially what you want to do is make your way over to this giant rock that's going to be right on the edge of the cliff. You see that right in front of me here. There's going to be a massive rock. And all we're going to do is run up to the side of it you guys will notice there's going to be a crate in the ground. We're going to go ahead and open up that container for smuggler cache number 37 and treasure number five. Treasure number six is going to be found on the northern side of the Boulder Forest at Imperial Outpost 44. You can see that location here on your screen. Again, another single building out here that's pretty easy to spot. We're starting from just south of the outpost. Once you make your way over here, this is what it's going to look like. You are going to have a couple enemies that are guarding the outpost. I highly recommend just taking them out and trying instead of trying to be sneaky. There's only a couple. But once you take them out, all you need to do is go up the ramp. And on the right side, there's going to be a door. If you make your way around to the back here, you can open up that door and go inside. And this container right here on your right is going to be the next treasure. So this will be treasure number six. Our next treasure is going to be found on the northeastern side of the Boulder Forest at Imperial Outpost 62. You can see that location as we zoom in here on your screen. It'll have a marker on your map. But there's going to be a single building out here. And again, this is going to be another outpost where you will have a couple enemies. Now, I've already taken them out for the sake of the video. But when you get over here, you'll find a couple that are guarding this outpost. You can just take them out quickly. And then once you do, the container is just going to be on the back side. So if we go up the stairs and go to the left and go all the way to the back, you'll see the container out in the open right here. You can go ahead and override the lock for this thing, open it up, and you'll get treasure number seven. Our next treasure is going to be found on the far northeastern side of the Boulder Forest. This is going to be a smuggler cache. You can see that location right here. It's pretty much in this little crevice that you see in between the mountains. We're going to start from the south so you can see what it looks like. But once you get over here, it'll be pretty easy to spot. You'll see the little opening right here. But all we're going to do is take our speeder and ride all the way through. And then once we get towards the back, we can hop off our speeder. We're just going to follow that little pathway all the way to the back. So we'll run all the way back to the end of the little opening here. And against the rock in the back corner, you will find another container in the ground. We can go ahead and open that up for treasure number eight. Treasure number nine is going to be found also on the far northern side of the Boulder Forest. This one's going to be at the East Turbo Laser, and you can see that location right here on your screen. If you just follow this little pathway up to the northern side of the region. Again, there are going to be enemies that are protecting this little outpost that you'll need to take out. And also, I've already taken them out for the video, so you're not going to see them here on your screen. But there's not too many. You can take them out pretty easily. But once you do, all you're going to do is make your way up to the Turbo Laser and go through the door in the front. And in the back right corner of the room, you're going to see a container. Go ahead and open that up for treasure number nine. Treasure number 10 is going to be found on the far southern side of the Boulder Forest. As we zoom all the way in here, you guys can see there'll be a little location on the map for the Dura Fiber Fabric. And we're actually going to start just south from that location, right down here along this pathway. There's going to be a ramp that we can jump off of to make it uh, just north where you guys can see the magnifying glass. So starting just south on this pathway where our arrow is, you can see this is what it's going to look like. You can see a small tower right in front of us, and we're going to go up the path to the left of that tower, and this is where you're going to find the ramp. So from your speeder, just boost your way across. You're going to land on this side here, and then we're going to go straight right over here, and you're going to find a rock wall that we can climb up. So we'll hop off the speeder and climb to the top of this wall. Once we're up top, we're going to take a right. We're going to have another wall that we can climb up here. Go ahead and grab onto this one. And then when you make it up to the top, we're just going to follow the main path that's right here in front of us. We can work our way through the mountainside here. When we make it over here, we'll jump across onto this next level and just continue to follow this path all the way around the back side until you find another rock wall that we can climb up. Once we're up top, we're going to stay to the left and continue to follow this pathway. And you're going to get to a spot where we can jump across. Just be careful there you don't fall in the opening. And then once you make it over here, you're going to have some enemies that you need to be aware of. Now, I recommend just staying on the right side where all these flowers are. 
you pretty much just crouch walk your way through them and not really have to worry about the two enemies that are on your left. We'll go all the way to the end of the flowers where there's going to be a small rock wall that you can climb up. Go ahead and climb up here. And then we're going to have a couple enemies that we're going to need to take out over here. So we're just going to stealthily uh, crouch walk crouch walk our way over. We're going to have one enemy down there. We can use Nyx to attack him if you want. You don't necessarily need to as he's not looking. But we're going to take out this guy at the door because we actually need to go inside of this door. And then we can go over and take this guy out. You don't, again, you don't necessarily need to take this guy out over here if you don't want to, but better safe than sorry. And then once the enemies are taken out over here, we're just going to unlock the door using the data spike. We can go inside and just go all the way to the back of the room. And if you open up the container in the very back, this is where you go, are going to find a treasure number 10. Treasure number 11 is going to be found on the far southwestern side of the Boulder Forest. You guys can see that location here on your screen. And there's a little pathway that kind of leads right to the area. And this little area actually looks like a little divot in the ground. You'll see when you get over here, it's pretty much a giant hole. And, uh, and in that hole is a crashed ship. And if you make your way over to that ship, you're going to find a container right here next to it. All you need to do is override the lock to get inside. And once you open it up, you will get treasure number 11. Our next couple of treasures are going to be found at the Imperial Comm Station that's on the far northern side of the Boulder Forest. You guys can see we have four treasures, and we're actually going to start from the path just outside. This is a heavily guarded area. So what you want to do is make your way up to the front gate, but obviously instead of going right inside the front gate, we're going to follow this little pathway that goes to the right side. You can see it's going to lead all the way around the back, there's going to be a little path that we can take to kind of sneak our way into this station. Right over here, there's going to be a crack in the mountain. We're going to follow the path through that crack. And as we follow this path into this little cave area, we're going to see some stairs made of stone right here that we can kind of climb our way up. We'll climb all three of these. And then once you make it to the top, there's going to be a spot where you can grapple across. So we'll grapple our way across to this wall, climb up to the top. And then we just need to jump and grab onto this wall here in front of us. And once you make it up top from here, we can essentially just grapple our way into the station. And as soon as you land, we're immediately going to go down the ladder that's right here in front of us. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom. And then once we do, what you want to do is there's going to be a spot where you can detonate an explosive using Nyx right over here in this corner. And we're going to use Nyx to trigger the detonation. That way it'll distract all of the guards that are in this area. And once we're able to detonate that, we'll be able to run to this door to our right. So you can see Nyx is going to blow it up. Go ahead and trigger it. Go ahead and press the button a couple times. And then once it blows up, you'll see all the guards will look over at it. And then we'll be able to run to the door. So as soon as that happens, run right over here to this door. Open it up. Go inside and close it behind us. We can open up this door. And then once we're inside, we're going to come right over here onto this lift. And there's only one enemy we need to worry about, and he's right there in front of us, as you guys can see at the computer. We can use Nyx to attack him, as it's a little difficult to sneak up on this guy if he's looking over in this direction. But once you're able to take this guy out, you'll see the container in the, on the ground right here beside you. We can open that up for treasure number 12. Our next treasure is also here in the Imperial Comm Station. For this one, we're going to start where we just grabbed the first treasure that was in here. You guys can see the container there. All you're going to do is continue your way down the hallway and open up the vent. We're going to climb the ladder right here in front of us. And once we're up here, we're just going to work our way through the vents for a little bit. So you can see we'll take a right, go all the way down to the end, take another right. And then the exit to the vent is right here in front of us. Now we're going to have several enemies we need to take out. In this first room, there's going to be two. The easiest way to handle this is to send Nyx after the guy that's standing in front of us over here that can actually see us. And then we can sneak up behind this guy and take him out at the computer. And then as soon as that's done, you can run over and finish off the guy that Nyx is attacking. And that'll be the two guys in this little hallway. The next thing we need to do is turn off the power to the camera so that we can go through the door into the next room. And then we can go inside. You're going to have a couple enemies in here. The first one's pretty easy to take out as it's just this guy standing at the computer. However, there are a couple more enemies. And all you need to do is take them both out. There's one in the back, and then there's going to be one guarding the lift right here in front of us. Now, I essentially messed this up and got a wanted sign, but it ended up working out anyways, because all you have to do is take out both enemies pretty quickly before they call for backup. You can see here as I run over to take this guy out, I end up getting the wanted on my screen. 
but it didn't matter because I was able to take them both out quickly and this guy lost sight of me. We can go ahead and take both of those guys out and once you do, you're clear in the room. Now at this point, we need to get onto the lift. So what you're gonna do is use an electric shot to shoot this little red knob above the lift and that's gonna open up the barrier. So go ahead and aim at that and then I don't know what took me so long, but pull out your electric shot. You can hit this thing and it'll open the door. Now, all we need to do is hop on the lift. We're gonna go to the next level and there's gonna be three enemies in this room before we can grab the container. The first one you can easily just sneak up behind here, take him out. And then what I recommend doing is using Nyx on the guy on the right here, just in case he turns around while you're attacking this guy. Then all we need to do is finish off these two guys. And you can see the container right there to our right. And once you finish eliminating the three enemies in this room, we can come right over here, open up this container, and this will be treasure number 13. Our next treasure is gonna be the third treasure that's found in the Imperial Comm Station. And once again, we're gonna start from where we just gathered the last treasure. From our last treasure, what we're gonna turn, what we're gonna do is turn around and come over here to this computer on the left side of the room. And we're gonna put in the password and we are going to transfer data disable the camera and disable the turret. And once you've done all three of these on this computer, we can now turn around and make our way back into the lift behind us. We're gonna go ahead and hop in and ride this thing back down to the bottom. And once we make it to the bottom, we're essentially gonna work our way back outside. To do so, we're gonna take a right, go through this door right over here, and then stay to the right. And if you run into this back little room right here, you're gonna have a zip line that you can take to the top. You are gonna encounter enemies along the way if you haven't already been through this area. They're super easy to sneak up on. I've already taken out most of them so that it's easier to follow where we're going, but you just wanna be super stealthy, or if you really want to, you can kinda of just come in here and take out as many as you can, and it'll make getting these treasures a lot easier. But essentially what you're gonna do is just follow the wall all the way around. You guys will see some of the enemies here we've already taken out. Again, not too difficult. You just sneak up on these guys as you're running along the edge of the wall. And then when you make it all the way down here to the end, there's gonna be a spot where you drop down and then you can drop down to the right. Now, this is why I say that it's easier just to make noise and take out all the enemies in this area because you can see there's a bunch here in front of us. I tried to be stealthy right here and it didn't end up working. It ended up getting me killed. Uh, so the easiest way to do this is to just drop down and take out all the enemies that are in this area and, uh, and take them out before they're able to call for backup. It'll make this significantly easier. Trust me on this one. I tried to be super stealthy getting to this treasure and it just didn't work out. So just come down here, get in a firefight, take out all the bad guys, and then you'll be able to make your way into the room. And then in the back of the room, you'll see the container right here. We can go ahead and open it up for treasure number 14. Our 15th and final treasure is also in the Imperial Comm Station. Again, we're gonna start from where we just gathered the last treasure, and this one's really close by. All we're gonna do is turn around and go back outside of this room. We're then going to take a left into this area. We'll take another left and you're gonna have a couple enemies that are right here by the container that you can sneak up behind and take out where you can make some noise either or. The last chest is gonna be right here and that will be all 15. But this is where you're gonna be able to find all 15 treasures here in the Boulder Forest region in Star Wars Outlaws. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.